Have your company. Well, Chelsea Handler is one hell of an outspoken, ballsy, untamable, hilarious comedian. Unafraid to share her opinion on everything from politics to childbearing and her love of luxury. She's faced all kinds of backlash over the course of her 20 year career. In just a few months, Chelsea will be in Australia on her latest stand up tour. So I jumped on a Zoom to catch up with her and to find out what's got her riled up right now. I can't deal with the slowness of the transaction when I want to buy a book. Are those people, what is wrong with, are they koala bears? <laughs> I don't have to shop, but. <laughs> hey, Chelsea, how you doing? Oh, you sound very Australian. <laughs> I love it. Well, I can talk like this all day, you know? Uh-oh, uh-oh, that's too far. I reckon it's been 10 years since I spoke to you. And back then it was, well, it was causing quite a stir, um, you comparing yourself to Big Vlad on the back of a horse. Oh, uh, yes. That was one of my very first topless photo. That was when I got the fire in my belly to share my upper half of my body <laughs> with the rest of the world. I just started covering up like a year ago. So that was a very seminal time in my life. The world has continued to turn on its axis. Vlad things and Trumpies back now. It's all good news. Oh, uh, yeah, it's all great news. Great news for you Australians. <laughs> it's not so fun being an American. And how do you think he's tracking? I mean, can you live with another four years of him? No, I really can't. I mean, I have a house in Canada. That's my escape plan. And I can't even pay attention to it anymore. The noise is too much. I have to hope for the best. It's not like you to give up. No, I haven't given up. I just don't think you know, banging on and on about yeah, something, yeah. it's not helpful, I don't think, especially from someone like me. I get so impassioned and it's like, I think sometimes I can turn more people off than on. Instead of shaming people, we should say, oh good, good for you for knowing that you shouldn't have a baby. We should get a carbon credit for not polluting to mass population. The thing about you is, which I love, is to see an independent woman having her opinion about all manner of things. But gee, it blows back to you sometimes. And I just don't get that, especially on children and kind of deeply personal things. Yeah, but I don't really mind that. You know what I mean? men is kind of my specialty and, and if they're upset with me that is a deeper problem within themselves if you're upset by a woman who's independent and free-spirited if people should be happy I'm not having children they would just be like me you know tearing it up but I do feel very passionately that um you know all women should be able to do whatever the hell they want the way men do whatever the hell they want what is your message to Aussie women I mean it's it, it can be fraud out there uh, a lot of women looking for guidance what would you say to them I would just say be loud and be proud and stand up for women any chance you get. My name is Greg. <laughs> I said, let me guess, two Gs. What have you um, got planned for this tour that's coming up? I can't say the name of the tour because I'm just such a, a gentle man. It's called Little Big D and it's, it's an origin story about how I became this way. So it's a lot of stories of my childhood. I was very much an entrepreneur from an early age. I started a hard lemonade stand when I was around eight years old. Um, I sold gin, whiskey, and tequila. <laughs> when I was 10, I started a babysitting company. Yeah, so I've been pretty pretty resourceful in my, in my childhood. My mom took me on my first airplane ride when I was 10. And we walked past the first class section and I remember like sniffing, you know, the first class section. I was like, these seats look nice. And my mom ushered me to the back of the plane and she's like, no, she's like, sweetie, we're never sitting there. We'll never be able to afford first class. And I was like, speak for yourself. I saved up $3,000. And the next time I flew with my mom, I bought my own first class ticket. And when we boarded the plane the next time, I sat in my seat, which was 2C, looked up at my two brothers and said, see you at the end of the flight, you idiots. <laughs> I'm surprised you haven't ended up with an Aussie bloke, you know, because, you know, like a cattle farmer out there on the land. Well, somebody who like can handle me? Yeah. I reckon they could. They used to handle well, me. Maybe they could with a cattle prod. Yeah, they could probably <laughs> handle me. Find him for me. Bring him out. Bring him to the show. I'm open. I'm single. I'm ready to mingle. I'm oh, always ready to mingle. Oh, yeah. Here she goes. Mm -hmm. Right, so, so there's a show in that. Chelsea wants a farmer. <laughs> uh, Chelsea's tour kicks off in July. Head to livenation.com.au for tickets and more info. She's a funny lady. She is. Yeah. Hey there, Today fans. Sarah and... <laughs>
Okay. What's my name again? Oh my God. Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports, and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?